Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Why do you do your job, Mike? What, what do you tell people out there who want to become a police officer after reading all this fucking shit? My gosh, man. It's like, it, honestly, it's becoming really, really hard. Um, it's, but you gotta, you need people who are still willing to lose their jobs, basically. Uh, I, that's the way it comes down to it is like, that's how I view and have viewed my, my job is like, I just say, I don't care if you fire me. I'm going to go do my job because I think this country needs people who are willing to go do the job. So you do it and you just, you take what comes. And, and if, I think if we have more people with that mindset and characteristic, we can push back a little bit. And hopefully those people with that mindset in five to 10 years are going to be the lieutenants, are going to be the commissioners, are going to be the people that are in charge, you know, hopefully. You, you yeah, yeah, you're your right. Artist. You're right. It, it's a, it's almost a self-correction. The guys that are, that are, that are so fed up with it now, if they stick with it, the, that, well, it's like that. You know, it's like that stupid, stupid uh, Democratic Socialist Convention, right? They implode on themselves. Yes, they're, yeah, they're completely right. yes. self contradictory Because yeah, because their, their own rules happens. don't work. Like right. yeah, so eventually we're... you will have that in a, even a bigger city like New York or L.A. where like the homelessness problem, all these other things. Eventually, it's going to come bite them in the ass because it doesn't work. It just doesn't. Listen, work. I have I have a solution to the immigration and homeless problem. What's that? I think you know the we come in. And we interview all the homeless and we say, hey, we're going to help. We're going to set you up with some work to do with a job. You 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 down or you not. And if they say no, you do a one for one swap with an immigrant that wants asylum or whatever and say, OK, well, this guy wants to work. You're now down in Mexico. Yeah, because immigrants are going to work. For yeah, the most part. That's what I mean. Yeah, like like there, there's then some... we we solve our homeless problem and we make the immigration problem happy again. And uh, there we go. It's <laughs> a one for we... one swap. <laughs> Why don't we pay? Pay the homeless people to get in a caravan and go to Mexico. Oh, we should do that. Ah, that'd be great. That would be so funny. Re reverse immigration on yeah, them. Reverse yeah, reverse immigration. Yeah, that, that would not, be funny as shit. That'd be a great one. Oh my god! Take every liberal that, that's crying about, uh, you know, kids getting separated from parents. Yeah. Deport them and then bring in the kids who are who are separated from their parents. We'll make a trade with you. Yeah, if they mean that much <laughs> to you, maybe we can just trade you out. Yeah. Not willing. I just i i've I've been looking at it so <laughs> so closer now, and on the panhandlers in San San Antonio, panhandlers in California recently. Like everywhere I go, I look at them, and I look at I look at the shoes, I look at the clothes, I look at their fingers, and I, I these people are fucking fine. Yeah, they've got nice shoes. They got decent clothes. Their hands aren't fucking dirty, and they're standing out there with a sign. Go fucking get to work, bro. Yeah. Somebody will pay you to do something. No, it's it's yeah. easier to do that. You know, apparently. Tom Cruise has a sunglass guy. All right. Got him right. A fucking does. sunglass guy that goes everywhere with him with a briefcase full of sunglasses, and he changes his <laughs> sunglasses out no less than five times a day. Yeah. So if Tom Cruise is paying a guy to be a sunglass guy, you can find something to do. Goddamn right you can. <laughs> and if anybody needs sunglasses. <laughs> Five times a day, it's TC, brother. It's TC. <laughs> uh, oh, South Dakota. Dakota. Yeah. You have to be a Scientologist? Yeah, I, think I don't know. So. Uh, you, you do and you don't. He probably you know? signed the, can you imagine the fucking NDA you would have to sign to be around Tom Cruise all day? TC? Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine. Like, it's probably 80 pages long. It's probably like the one. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs>